So the old Bathurst desk chair I've been using for the last two and a bit years now has seen better days. The covering is giving way all over the place, the padding was shot in the first six months, and the left side arm broke off perhaps a bit over a year ago, and has been jabbing me in the arm even when folded away ever since. To be perfectly honest, it should have been shown the door some time ago, given that it was an uncomfortable mess inside the first 12 months. I can't really blame it, it was only 120 Australian dollar dues and only rated to 120 kilograms, which I am pushing far too close for comfort. But is it wise in this case to be spending 120 bucks every 12 months if I was to stick with buying these Bathurst chairs from Officeworks? I'd like to think not, so let's go for something a little more upmarket as a replacement. Stay tuned. What we have here is the S300 made by Nitro Concepts, which is designed in Germany and manufactured in China with a full steel frame, cold molded foam padding and a nice textured fabric covering. I have cats that absolutely love to rip up polyurethane leather, so it was somewhat of a deciding factor in going with the Nitro Concepts S300. Inside we get a nice sturdy base with white accents to match the trim. It feels quite heavy, which is great since we will be rolling on carpet and don't want any breakages. The backrest is next, and just the sight of a new chair is overwhelming at this point. I'm sorry, I just need a minute. Immediately you can feel the steel construction when you take it out, so I'm quite optimistic at this point about the build quality. Under this we find a whole bunch of malarkey going on, the instructions are pretty straightforward, and if you have put together a chair before, you probably won't require this at all. Headrest comes with the Nitro Concepts logo stitched in with a thick thread, so it should hold up okay wear-wise, and it's a similar story with the back support cushion. It's soft without being cushy, so we'll see if that's required later. Getting the accessories box out helps with removing the base, it really is all packed together quite well in there. And the arms were already fitted to the seat, which saved a step in the assembly process. Nice. All things told at this point, I'm very happy with what's come out of the box. Every piece is accounted for and feels like it's well made, but I guess we will find out once it's all together. So, let's cue the montage and get cracking. My butt has gone to a better place. What heaven!
So here we are now, seven weeks later in the new studio and the chair has held up fantastically. The mesh fabric has been really, really good. It's been nice and warm in the winter, but it's still breathable. So I get the feeling that it's going to be nice in the summer as well. It has held on to a little bit of the cat hair that floats around in the air in this house. But uh, overall, it hasn't been hard to clean. It hasn't hung onto it too bad. And the cats have had a couple of goes at attacking it. And so far, they haven't pulled any threads. The fabric's held up fine, nothing's broken, and everything has gone really, really well. The first week or two, the base was probably a little bit firm. It softened up somewhat, probably about five to 10% from what it was when I first got it, which has been kind of nice, but I probably would like it for my own personal preferences, just to soften up that teensy weensy little bit more. Support wise, the backrest is really good. The lower wings cradle the sides really well. There's enough room for someone like me in there. So most of you guys out there and gals will be able to fit in this just fine. The wings up the top are also very supportive of your shoulders. And this pillow seems to be just in the right spot for the back of my neck. And it's absolutely great. For those of you who think that 400, 500, 600 Australian dollar dues is just too much to be spending on a seat, but you don't want to compromise on quality. You don't want to compromise on comfort either then I think the S300 is a fantastic sweet spot. So I think you and your butt shouldn't look no further than the Nitro Concepts S300. Your butt will thank you on those longer gaming sessions. I know mine has. It talks often, but it was nice to hear something positive for a change. With a bit of luck, it's sure going to beat the hell out of replacing these cheap uh, office work seats every 12 months or so as I wear them out. So. Over the long term, it'll be interesting to see how it goes, but given the quality of the construction and the feel of the material so far, I'm very positive that it will last the distance. It's only really got to last two and a half years to repay the money back. So thanks very much for watching everyone. I'm Nate with TechForge. We'll see you in the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah.